so let's talk about post-processing. This episode, I'm thinking that it's going to be very interesting for most of you, because if you are really new to the engine, it might be your first time that you touch uh, post-processing. And I will just briefly describe what is post-processing. So, for example, you take a picture for the Instagram story, and uh, you have a just plain picture, and then you slap a filter on it. Uh, basically, you change the entire picture, make it uh, more bright, uh, more, more saturated, whatever you like, basically black and white. Um, same thing is post-processing in Unreal Engine. So let's go quickly and add it so I can show you. So here, quickly add to the project, post-process, and we can see post-process volume. And uh, with it, you can uh, make it global or you can make it, uh, for example, just for this room. I will show you the both ways. So first, let's make it for this room. If I press R, I can scale it like this. Let's scale it more like that. I'm not caring too much about uh, the precision, but you should if your game, if your map is small. So as you can see, nothing really changed. So I will go ahead and click my post process volume and go to the details. Let's see what we can do here. There is some cool things that I found. So let's try, let's try, let's try, let's try under the film. You can also search for the film. Uh, and here we have this slope. We can activate slope. And as you can see, we change how bright it is. So let's go ahead and manage the toe as well to make it darker. And basically, uh, you can see now when we enter and leave, we change it because we just applied like this filter uh, here. Uh, let me just make this light a little bit more bright so it's more scary. So you can see the difference. So, for example, now you're playing this game and you see this room. It's your horror game. And you want to enter this room. Look what happens. It becomes dark creepy and then when you leave it goes normal again so this is very cool effect that you can add to your game let's see what else you can do uh, let me just duplicate this hold alt left click i will duplicate this slide here and i want to make it so here is some uh, asylum let's say so i will quickly add uh, some table some cube here let me go to the shape cube just so I know where it is here let's say this is some asylum table I will add post process here let's go quickly add post process like that let's make it only around this table so when you come close to this table you go crazy and let's apply this filter now uh, I promise it will be a cool filter just make it a little bit so how you scale it just hold r press r and then you can scale it okay so the filter that we need for this is a, a, a chromatic aberration so i will go inside so i can check the difference i will put intensity to be five and you see we get this look it's very nice and you can tweak the offset how much you want it to be crazy <laughs> so let's go ahead and test it so now everything is fine and then suddenly you are this asylum you're going crazy this effect happens so i think this is very very cool effect so let's go and quit it here if we go again we have this effect so this is very cool uh Okay, so now we created those two post process, but I also want to show you one more. Let's go and add one more post process. And this post process will be here. Doesn't matter where I put it, I want it to be global in my entire level. So I will type in in details unbound and I will tick unbound. And now wherever I stay, whatever this post process is, I will see it. So I can test it with, uh, let's say, uh, temperature. Okay, let me find temperature. Or I can use vignette. Vignette is a 
this border as you can see here increasing i think it just adds a good feel to the horror game you can also sharpen it if you want but you, you can do whatever you like actually uh this is your game so now if i go ahead and here if i untick this unbound you will see i will lose vignette it's not going to be global anymore as you can see but because it's unbound i will have vignette here if it's not i lose it and now you see the difference the small difference that it makes it makes everything so much creepy so when we go here look at this this is very creepy and now i can turn on my flashlight here comes comes handy so you see post processing is very cool and definitely worth playing with uh i can guarantee that almost every horror game will use post processing i can't see a horror game being made without post processing because this is just too cool so i hope you like this video and see you in the next one if you want to watch these videos one day before everyone else please consider dropping a subscribe on the membership on the youtube it will cost you less than a coffee and you will have content one day before everyone or if you want to grab a project files and some assets i created specific patreon membership for you so check it out thank you again for watching